A lot of people are requesting me to build an amplifier that would be powerful enough and easy to build. And with that in my mind, today I am going to build a 500 watt linear audio amplifier. Today's video is not just about how you can make an amplifier, at the same time in this video I will experiment with different ways. And from that you will get a complete idea of how a amplifier works. As a result you can build your own powerful amplifier. And with that if you want, maybe in future video I'll make amplifier using a vacuum tube. And I promise you, my amplifier would powerful enough to burn a subwoofer in a very nice way. So be careful. So guys, let's start the video without wasting any more time. This video is sponsored by GLC PCP. It is better to say here, GLC PCP is a really beautiful PCB making prototype company where always you will get excellent benefit when you order your PCB. GLC PCB always take care of customer like you can live chat anytime for any inconvenience. Even you can choose any PCB color for free of cost. There are also many benefits such as SMT service, stain seal, PCB panel, gold plate, so on. To take advantage of all those opportunity, Today upload your graph file by visiting the GLC PCB website for few dollars. Before making an amplifier, we must know what is amplifier and how does it work. If I play any music on my phone and if I want to play it directly on an external speaker, that is not possible because the audio signal of my phone is not sufficient amplitude. When the low sound convert in a higher amplitude signal, that called amplifier. The higher amplitude, that means more powerful your amplifier will be. And I am pretty sure you know guys, the most useful thing for amplifying sound wave is a transistor. And to help you understand, I will use a small speaker here to see how it really works. We all know the transistor output pin is collector pin. So we will connect the collector pin to this speaker. And definitely I attach a feedback resistor with collector pin to base pin. And I don't forget to add a input filter capacitor. And definitely I will connect the 5 volt power supply to my amplifier and as well as the 3.5mm input signal jack with it. And after then I will play some frequency tone from my phone and see my sound wave is amplifying and it is working properly without any difficult. And you know guys which is being driving by a small transistor. If you want you can play some music with it. But it is really very very little power. And if you want to increase its power further you need to use two transistor here. And just like before I will add two transistor and you can download all the diagram of this experiment from the description box. And you can see our circuit is complete. Now is the time to check that it has really amplified sound wave or not. I will inject some water over the speaker to test it properly. And just like before I play some frequency tune again. And look, this time this is much powerful than before. And which is be able to play frequency tone correctly in the water. But it is still not enough compared to the 500 watt amplifier. And that is not enough to run a big subwoofer. And to test it more accurately I want to make amplifier with a 4 transistor. Two of which will be slightly larger transistor which have the capacity to handle roughly 1.5 ampere current. And this is better to say here this kind of circuit is very easy to make. If you know first chapter of electronics is analog and it is definitely important to learn. And see our 4 transistor amplifier is made. Ok guys let's see how much powerful it is now than previous amplifiers. And you can see this sound wave is loud enough. And and if I connect this amplifier to a larger subwoofer, then you will see it can properly tune the sound, but even that is not enough to play this subwoofer properly. So guys, at the end, I think you have got a pretty good idea of how a amplifier actually work. But the most important thing here is that for a higher watt, definitely you have to provide more voltage in the amplifier and enough current with it. It is better to say here that the subwoofer driving transistor you will use that must have capacity to handle that voltage and current. And with all that information in my mind, I start making a diagram and which you will find in the description box as always. And definitely which I will make now. And finally we will see how our 500 watt amplifier works. This time I will use 7 transistor in my amplifier. Two of which will be speaker driving transistor, which would be strong enough to handle 10 ampere current. I have used here 2S5200 NPN power transistor and 2SA1943 PNP transistor, which is very popular for making this type of amplifier. After working for about 30 minutes, my RAP amplifier is ready. Now is the time to test how powerful it is. To give it enough ampere and voltage, I will use 10 ampere 40040 volt transformer here. 
and I believe it is enough for 500 watt amplifier and then I will connect the transformer wire to the full bridge rectifier for DC voltage and after then I will connect the DC voltage to the positive ground and negative to my amplifier and at the last I will attach my speaker wire to this amplifier the heatsink I used here this is not enough to heat shaking because it is a linear amplifier for that you must use a right radiator ok now our amplifier is properly powered up now it's time to test it and see guys when we are touching my input pin it's shaking the speaker like crazy with too much power and you might believe if it continue like this my speaker will definitely burn out ok guys let's play some frequency tone and see that my subwoofer does not have ability to tolerate the frequency that I am playing. Take a look at the subwoofer since this is in a video so I can't explain to you properly. Truly it is extremely powerful. And after few minutes like this when I increase the volume my subwoofer burn out instantly. And I hope you can see the smoke which I told you before. Oh my god this is really really fun. And you can see guys the 60 watt subwoofer burn out very easily. Be careful. And after shocking 5 minutes when I realized that my amplifier had enough power and that I made without any faults, so I want to see it in a very nice way. So this time I will use port transistor instead of 2 to handle more current, that means more power, which I will put nicely on the copper board. And I will use two beautiful aluminum heatsink here, in which I will set those 4 transistors. And after then I made the rest of circuit on the another copper board. And look, it looks beautiful and I will definitely check it again. But this time I will be careful because I don't want my server to burn like before. So I will have fun with beautiful sound in low volume. So friend, this was a short video for today. So I don't know how you like this video. If you don't like this video, then you can dislike this video. And if you like it, then subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Stay well and stay healthy.